So this video is going to have a whole lot more of the actual welding of the metal frame into the hole on the shipping container and aligning it, cutting it out, welding it in. Um, the angle iron is three inch by four inch angle iron that I just cut out and welded together square. Now I've got it hanging on the wall right here and I'm squaring it up from the top and uh, measuring, double measuring. And as you can see, it's very hot this day. My welding jacket that I have on here is soaked in sweat. Um, it was in the mid 90s Fahrenheit, which is like 33, 34 Celsius. Um, so it was a hot day inside the container where there was no wind. Was even more stifling, but um, it was okay. So now that I've got the uh, angle iron frame hanging like I want it to be and nice and square, I'm just taking a felt tip pen and putting marks on the inside of the wall for where I'm going to cut the hole through the container to hang the window. Here you can see up at the very top of the metal frame there between the two red magnets, I have a scrap piece of angle iron that is welded to the inside of the container. And that's what's carrying the majority of the weight. And then the magnets help to keep it from wobbling around while I'm putting it in place. Then right here, I'm setting up to move everything away, take the bracket off the wall. And then I'm going to take my level and connect all my dotted lines and then a little bit later on, you'll see me take a piece of cardboard and connect where the uh, concave part of the container wall is so that everything is drawn in. Um, you want the gap between your metal frame and your shipping container wall to be practically nothing so that you can weld between the two. If there's a quarter inch or bigger gap there, then you've got to do a lot of filling, which does happen, but... Uh, the tighter you get it in, the more time you spend right here, man, it will pay off in dividends down the road. And I learned that the hard way because my first window um, was a lot of trial and a whole lot of learning during that window, but we got it done. So here I am with the uh, cutoff wheel, cutting the hole out. And there's a lot of starting and stopping because I have to keep changing the uh, cutoff discs. And these sparks are flying up and hitting the ceiling, and then bouncing down on top of my head, and they're actually burning through a little bit. And uh, it was torture. Plus, it was so hot that the sweat was pouring down in my eyes, and I had to keep stopping, wiping my face. And so I ended up getting an old shirt to put over my head to keep the sparks off of me. And uh, it was not a lot of fun, but man, it was hot today. So here's my shirt afterwards. And here's the final cut out cut And now we will move the welded window frame to the outside here and set up. Um, and you'll see me take my uh, wire wheel and clean around the paint off all the windows so I have a, a good welding contact to weld the angle iron frame to the frame of the shipping container. Here I am putting the frame up in there. 
and I just used a wooden spacer to uh, set my distance off the edge of the container. Um, doing a little modifications to the frame so that it fits in nice and tight. You actually don't want it to fit in that hole when you first start. You want to have to do a little grinding to get it in there so that you have the least amount of gap and the, the least amount of filling to have to do with your welding. And preferably it would be nice if you had to hit it in there with the sledgehammer. So that's, that's how tight you want it. So now I have the top of the frame fitting in, but the bottom doesn't fit in just yet, and the sides don't fit in. And I go inside and am marking any of the areas that I want to grind away so they get the tightest fit. And uh, you'll see me grind on the sides here a little bit so that I have a really tight fit. Uh, it's definitely worth the time and effort to get a tight fit. So now I've got the window frame fitting in the shipping container hole and uh, everything is looking like I wanted to do and it's time to set up for some welding. Um, and you'll see where I have a wooden spacer that I'm spacing my window out all the way around so that um, it's flush in there and I've got an equal distance from the uh, flange of the angle iron to the edge of the shipping container. And now I'm welding in the corners. The welder is sitting inside. I've got the lead hanging out and I use the wooden block, wooden block right there to set my distance. And I weld in the four corners, um, about an inch long weld. And then I uh, move up top here and I'm putting in some short welds, usually at the, each of the high spots. Um, you just can't start on one end and weld all the way across or it will start to uh, warp from the heat. Um, so I'm putting in some stitch welding here. I'll come down and weld in the sides and everything, then come back in the end and connect all the welds together. And then at night, I would set a light up there and make sure I didn't see any pinholes in that. And then a lot of wire brushing and painting so that uh, the welds and stuff don't rust. That's what's happening in this next set of footage here. And here the sun is to my back and I'm having a whole lot of trouble with the sun shining inside my helmet and glaring on my lens, making it hard to see where I'm welding. And I actually ended up um, making this whole duct tape shroud around my welding lens and everything else. And finally I put a shirt inside of it and a shirt on top of it. Um, it was so hot though that that was difficult, but it's what I had to do so I could get good welds. Um, upcoming here is the other kitchen window that I'm putting in and it's repetitive of the same process but hopefully there will be some good footage here you may learn from. So here you can see I have some ropes up top that I install to hold the frame while I make my adjustments. Would have been a good idea to start that on all the windows, it was very helpful.
So here I'm satisfied with the fit and I take my wire wheel here and I'm removing the paint off of the outside about a half inch back so that I can get uh, a good weld between the window frame and the shipping containers. That's what I'm doing right here. I didn't do that on my very first window uh, at that much detail. It's definitely worth the effort to get the good welds that you need. And right here, I'm using my wooden spacer again to uh, space the window frame from the edge of the shipping container. I use the same wooden spacer throughout the whole project. Um, I don't know why. So we're getting near the end of the video here. The window just fits right in that frame, just like a regular house. And right here is what the uh, house looks like with the hallway window, kitchen window, and the 15-foot slider door. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>